Lovers of American history and rabid supporters of John Quincy Adams, I think you're going to like this. Jared here, and for this video I wanted to shine a spotlight on former American President John Quincy Adams and the mystery of his infant daughter, who both have ties to St. Petersburg, Russia. John Quincy Adams was the sixth President of the United States and the son of John Adams, the second President of the United States. From 1809 to 1811, prior to becoming President, JQA served as the first U.S. Minister to Russia. It was here in St. Petersburg, in this very building, where he both lived and worked during that time. The building sits along the Moika Canal on the corner of Blue Bridge, just off of St. Isaac's Square. The building is a hotel now, and neighbors the gorgeous Marinsky Palace. However, both the Marinsky Palace and St. Isaac's Cathedral were built after JQA's time in the northern capital. There is a plaque on the building commemorating this interesting bit of Russian-American history. JQA and his wife Louisa Catherine Adams had four sons and a daughter, the daughter being the youngest of the five. Back in 2011, a Russian friend told me that he'd heard that not only did JQA have an infant daughter while in St. Petersburg, but that she also died and was buried here in the Smolenskaya Lutheran Cemetery on Vasilyevsky Island. This intrigued me, so I decided to investigate for myself and found it to be true. Louisa Catherine Adams was born on August 12, 1810. However, after falling to a bout of dysentery and severe illness, she passed away in St. Petersburg on September 15, 1812. On the 200th anniversary of Louisa Jr.'s death, members of both the Russian and American government along with the Massachusetts Historical Society, placed a new gravestone at her spot in the southwestern part of the cemetery. In my search for her grave, I scoured the cemetery multiple times. It was difficult because the cemetery's register near the entrance that highlights interesting graves doesn't have Louisa Adams on it. How could that be? She was the daughter of an American president. Frustratingly though, there is an Adams listed, but it's not Louisa Adams. How confusing. Then, in fall 2017, after obtaining more information on the whereabouts of Louisa, I tried once again, searching almost the entire cemetery without success. After a couple of hours, I thought I'd check one last spot that I hadn't checked because it was close to the entrance and I didn't think her grave would be that close to the cemetery's edge. But I was wrong. There it was. I was just seconds away from giving up entirely, but then I found it. Luckily, I had a camera set up at just the right spot to capture this glorious moment. Just kidding. I shot this specifically for this video. Anyways, there you have it. John Quincy Adams' residence and workplace along with his infant daughter's grave, both located here in St. Petersburg, Russia. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to check out the other videos on our channel.